Nearly 10 years ago, Superstorm Sandy knocked out power to most of Manhattan below 36th Street. And since then, CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch shows us Con Ed has been working hard to prevent a repeat. This shows you the level that the water was in this station. 14 feet above sea level. Our new shoreline was Avenue B. We're at Avenue D. The East River forced far beyond its banks. We anticipated significant impact ahead of Sandy. It exceeded our expectations. Surveillance video captured during the storm shows an almost blinding flash of light coming from the East 13th Street substation. The video is impressive, the imagery unforgettable for many, but it was not that flash and substation failure that caused the power to go out. Flooding here and at two other substations in the city left more than 220,000 customers in the dark. Within five days, Con Ed restored power to the island. Then the much larger job of fortifying the grid against future storms and climate change began. We made a $1 billion investment commitment to strengthen our systems. $180 million went to the substation. General Manager Aisha Ahmed led the tour and first showed us the first line of defense, the perimeter wall. Before Sandy, this was chain link with some concrete. We made it solid. And, and we went down into the ground as well. Waterproof shower curtains hang at entry points. All equipment now sits well above solid ground. Earlier we were at ground level and now we're two flights above, which is the new control room. Floodwaters three feet deep cut off incoming information and trapped 11 workers inside. It was a surreal scene over here. Along with Rescue One, Benny Varghese helped get them all to safety. To reduce response and recovery time for repairs, 100 bucket trucks on standby in Pomona in New York for out of state crews. We fly them right in, they get here quickly, and they just hop in these uh, bucket trucks. Big moves toward building a more resilient, reliable power supply. From the Lower East Side, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.